Hey, Jessica, are you about ready to go on? Yeah, I guess so. I'm just so sick of Tinder. Oh, right? Tinder sucks. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, Betty Botter bought some butter. Dave Taylor. Don't worry, you're going to be great. Time to find your Prince Charming. Mao. Me. Good. On. The. In. Fuck. All right, we're on in five, four, three, two. Welcome to Hooked Up. I'm your host, Dave Taylor, and tonight we have a wonderful show for you tonight. I am Dave Taylor. Let's meet our bachelorette, Jessica. Jessica, come on out. Hi, Jessica. Why don't you tell us a little about yourself? Okay, well, I'm from a small town, and I like anything outdoors, like camping or hiking, and let's see, my favorite kind of music is... Well, that's great. You sound very unique and interesting. Bachelor number one, why don't you tell us a little about yourself? Sup, my name's Cody, and I like beer and... <laughs> oh, well, it's nice to meet you, Cody. You like... Jessica, how do you feel about b Uh, are okay, I guess. Okay, great. Bachelor number two. Hi, my name is Johnny, and I enjoy getting lost in a marvelous novel while imbibing a glass of Chardonnay and getting, getting bundled up in a nice blanket by the, my fireplace. And I'd say the four words that best describe me are Cantankerous. Okay, well that sounds amazing. Bachelor number three, tell us about yourself. Hey, my name's Ricky, but my friends just call me Ricky, and I'm a, a farmer. A farmer, you say? Well, what do you farm? I farm cantaloupe. Cantaloupe. Well, that's amazing. Jessica, now that we've had a chance to meet the contestants, are you ready to start asking some questions? Yes, I am, Dave. Okay, great. Okay, bachelors, my first question is this. If you were stranded on an island, what three items would you bring? Well, Jandy. Uh, Jessica. That's what I said, Dave. Anyway, Jamica, I don't know if you knew this, but I'm the current record holder of the longest beer pong game ever played at nine hours, 13 minutes, and 42 seconds. Thank you very much. Is that your answer? Yep. Well, okay. <laughs> Bachelor number two. Well, I'm glad you asked, Jessica. If I were limited to only three items, I would bring an endless supply of food, a copy of the 1987 Newbery Honor winning novella, Hatchet, by acclaimed author Gary Polson, and an illiteral physical hatchet. Well, it sounds like you've got it all planned out. Bachelor number three, what three items would you bring? Well, dude, I would bring enough cantaloupe to ease my mind. I'd bring my awesome hammock, and then I'd bring a big-ass bag of Funyuns. Well, those are all fabulous answers, gentlemen. Wouldn't you agree, Jamaica, Jessica? Uh, well, actually... And now, a quick word from our sponsors. Back in 90, people. Don't go far. Hey, what do you think so far? Honestly, I'm not feeling that impressed. Take it from me, it's going a lot smoother this week. Sounds like Bachelor number three's got his head in the right place at least. You look like a whore. So, can I ask you a question? Like, why is it so hard to find a guy? I mean, like, look at you, you're beautiful and you're charming and any guy would be lucky to have you. <laughs> Thanks, that's sweet of you to say. Well, it just kind of blows because I'm always busy with work. I have a full-time job and I'm a full-time student. There's no time for dating and all these dating apps are just 
little party boys with tiny dicks looking to hook up. I want someone that has it somewhat together. People like that are just super hard to come by. No, I, you know what? I actually kind of... Places, people! Oh, I get it. I'll, I'll, I'll take you after the commercial break. Hey, dude. Uh, what you got there on your arm? Is that a tattoo or something? Uh, don't worry about it. Oh, no. Come on, dude. What is that? Fuck off, man. I need this. Still, dude. Take a chill, though. Welcome back to Hook Up. I'm your host, David Lee Taylor. Jessica, are you ready to continue with question number two? Yeah, I have a question before we start, Dave. Are we allowed to write the answers on our arms beforehand? Dude, what the hell? Why are you f***ing this up for me? Whatever, homie. You're the one that's going open note. I can literally read the writing on your arm. Well then, moving on. Uh, Jessica, are you ready to ask question number two? We'll start with you, bachelor number three. Okay, bachelors. If you had a theme song, what would it be and why? Oh, it's too easy, dude. I can't already do have a theme song. It's the first 45 seconds of Rack City, and then it jumps to the first 20 seconds of Gucci Gang, and then finishes with the first sentence of Rockstar by my fool Post Malone. Jesus Christ. Well, let's see. I would have to say that song well, by... Well, Dave, Bl I would say that song by Blink-182, All the Small Things. Dude! Just speaks to me. You both are really f I hope you know that. Oh, you want to go? We can take this outside if you want. Uh, oh, God! That's, uh, that, that's going to be a commercial break, and we'll be back in five minutes, everybody. Shit. Are you interested in attending a university where none of the administration gives a single shit about your well-being? Are you looking to further your education in an environment not in any way conducive to furthering your education? Do you like small class sizes of five people, but the professor still doesn't know your name anyway? We have a vast athletics program where every single one of our student athletes is a communications major. Come to Red Rock University, where the sun's always shining and we're still not sure what our mascot is. Red Rock University. Come learn with us. Or not. Mm, probably not. Welcome back. For anyone who's still watching Hooked Up, I'm your host, David Lee Taylor. Jessica, you can ask your last question so we can all get home and watch reruns of Nightline. Yeah, Bachelors, what's your favorite number, I guess? Well, starts with a six and ends with a nine and has no numbers in between. It's 69. My favorite number is 69. I, I got it. Oh, wow, yeah. I'm sure your favorite number is 69. Doesn't surprise me at all, you fat piece of sh Oh yeah, dickhead, what's your favorite? Oh, dang it, don't <laughs> sh Oh god! Jesus! Why? Actually, the best week we've had so far. That's comforting to know. You know, what I was gonna say earlier is I actually do have my shit together, kind of. And you don't have to worry about me being a college guy with a small dick. God, not even that small! God damn it! Get the Go. I'm, uh, I'm actually kind of a nice guy. That's, that's what my mom says anyway. <laughs> Do you want to get out of here? I'd love to. Yeah. Yeah. 